Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordanka and today I'm doing a look dedicated to the 60s. So if you are interested, keep on watching. As I'm talking, I will start to insert some really nice uh, images from the 60s. And I watched the movie Cleopatra. I'm really interested in ancient Egypt and I was like let me finally watch the movie with Elizabeth Taylor from 1963 that is almost four hours but it's actually a really interesting movie and the makeup is amazing the scenography to say it like this in English we say in my language Bulgarian we say scenographia the background, all, all the images, all the fashion, the style, the architecture, everything was really on point. And you can see how much work they invested to create this beautiful environment. And the makeup was so magical with these glittering eyeshadows. I had no idea how they created such a high quality of makeup in the 60s but every time when Elizabeth Taylor was moving, uh, closing her eyes um, you can see like the makeup really had a role on its own I know that makeup is really important for ancient Egypt but still it was really amazing because I've seen an I've seen a lot of movies about ancient Egypt and I've never seen a makeup to capture the white, the light, the way the makeup in uh, 1963 version of Cleopatra did. So that's my inspiration for this look today. So for this look I'm using Blue Blood palette. It has some amazing shades inside of it that really work for the 60s. On my face I have nothing, a little bit of concealer on my eyelids because I'm going to use a lot of glitter and I expect fallout. And I'm dipping into power. I'm applying this in my cut crease. And <laughs> 60s are really with about those uh, cool eyeshadows, and power is really typical color for that age. So I'll apply it in the cut crease. A very beautiful neutral color if you are into the cold shades at that point I stop with the same brush I'm dipping into celebrity skin this nude color and this is going to be my blending color with it I'm going to blend power into my skin I think you can go even without this because somehow power is very neutral at least for my skin it works really nice but blending will make the look more elaborate and now I'm using I'm doing my eyeliner because I will apply above it glitter but uh, still I want to have a little bit of eyeliner I will apply false eyelashes and I'm using uh, this brush by Da Vinci uh, Joy Eye 4522 uh, lately and I'm using King Glot uh, eyeliner lately I really like use doing my eyeliner like this with more professional tools uh, they really allow me to do whatever shape, uh, sharp edges I want to do. I'm really happy with this. The eye, sh the eye brush is really, really high quality. So I'm doing it the Egyptian way. I start for the inner corner. I will close my inner corner and I will apply eyeliner on my lower eyelid as well as on my upper. I really love sharp edges. 
and with the brush you can do really precise so I make it a little bit thicker because in the 60s they they did quite a heavy eyeliner actually quite a dramatic looks but I like them so so my eyeliner is ready and now because I want to achieve a really dramatic look uh, I'm taking this eye gloss voodoo glass by Jeffree Star Cosmetics it has a yellowish green uh, shift and it's very pretty it's very pretty on its own for an everyday uh, look it's very pretty for this kind of dramatic eye looks uh, so I'm using uh, a sharp brush this is Jess 11 from Morphe and Jeffree Star collection and I start applying it on the eyeliner as well you can see it gives such a fairy tale look it's really pretty <laughs> it's really gentle and soft and I can leave it like this um, but I really want to do it more dramatic and I have such a beautiful eyeshadows in blood uh, in blue blood so I'm definitely using them uh, so with JS6 with natural fibers I'm dipping into Entitled and Entitled is really beautiful green shimmer greenish blue shimmering metallic very 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 pretty shade and I apply it in my outer corner it just works out so well with wood glass I applied it only in the outer corner I just want to keep it like a voodoo glass here and this transition I think it's way more uh, magical and then I'm taking a sharpie JS7 for my lower eyelid I will uh, fix the eyeliner with blue Monday Okay, so I already did my bow ties, I applied false eyelashes, I applied some foundation, some bronzing powder, and here we go. And now for the eyes, I really like the peachy colors they use in the 60s, so I will do Gemini, the War Liquid Lipstick and wet peach Gemini is very very pretty color I really love it it's perfect for like medium skin tones like mine and dark eyes and now wet peach okay now for uh, highlighter I will do Supreme Frost Wet Dream Very golden, very glistening, glittering And I'm taking... Let's do JS5 A brush that is really huge for my eyes But I use it as a highlighter brush It's perfect for a highlighter brush because it has natural fibers and I apply it yes now I have the sun sunshine on my cheekbones
Okay, with this my look in part of the 60s and those glistening, glittering, uh, amazing eyeshadows from the movies of that age is ready. Uh, thank you for being here with me guys. Bye bye and I hope to see you again. Bye bye.